Hey there, one up indie here coming with the tense of remaking Vampire Survivors in Game Maker. And today we're gonna do in this series what you see on the screen, which was told by me, which would be the, would be the last video. I kind of like this is this almost the last video, so this one, and then the next one should be the last one because first of all we need to well collect stuff and. Then we can level up and create a pop-up, which is then giving us some choices. So once again, one, two videos, and then we are pretty much done with that. So without further ado, so if you want to join me on this small journey of doing what you're seeing on the screen, so basically picking up and doing the whole stuff around it, then stick around. This is One Up Indie. I am a developer. So if you like what you're seeing and hearing, then why not consider sharing, liking, and subscribing to the channel of course alrighty so here in five steps which we're gonna do is first of all we got our enemy so once it's getting popped it's getting destroyed then we replace it and well create a little nice coin like this one here and then what we're gonna do is set it up so basically it flies towards the player of course if you just want to have it all the time flying towards the player this is good enough for me but let's say you want to have it a little bit more so then of course we will define a few more things so for example we got our player and then for example around the player we have kind of a pickup ring so this is what vampire survivors does and then for example once the coin is inside the ring then it starts flying towards the player so for that we just draw the ring and then define it and then in our last step which is then the fourth step is then we will do uh, collision ring around the player which is gonna get looped in our controller object so here this is just doing every 20 steps and like oh yeah let's enable and fly towards the player and then of course we need to collect and destroy it and therefore we kind of have a system where you collecting coins and then they represent xp or whatever you want to have that and then boom we uh, can transition into the last thing which is the pop-up menu for experience and new stuff Alrighty, so let's go into the project. A little bit of housekeeping. I just put everything in there so it doesn't uh, feel a little overbearing. So for that, we just need two things, three things, uh, which is our player, the controller, and then the enemy, which is then spawning the coin. For that, first of all, let's co create our object coin. So object coin. Here we go. Give it a nice little sprite go for the small one and then what we're gonna do with it make it fly towards the player so that we just have a step event step and then we just say like hey move towards and then a point and then of course the point would be the player so here this script needs just uh, some input so first of all where to fly to so object player x then object player y and then what kind of speed let's go with two and then for example once we would start it then the coins would fly towards the player but of course there are no coins so what do we do well we just go into our uh, enemy parent which is well what our enemies are inheriting from and then we just create a in our uh, destroy event so this is triggered once for example the enemy is gone and what do we do well we just create a new coin so for that we have do we have no we don't so i have to write that down so we just go and say like hey instance yeah. create layer here we go and then of course on ourselves oh come on on our current position where the enemy has uh, been created or deleted now instances here we go and then object coin here we go auto complete and then we can kill and check out how that looks like so what you're seeing in front of you is i'm deleting some enemies and then they are dropping some coins and these coins are instantly flying towards the player of course maybe we don't want that and therefore we create a little system and this system is just saying like hey can it fly and at the be beginning it shouldn't be so this is then the vampire survivors because they do it kind of the same so we just say like hey 
can fly this variable in the create event of our coin and then we just select hey if we can actually fly so if it's true then we start flying towards the player and then of course now they would do nothing because we haven't triggered this mini state or mini state machine or whatever you want to call that for that so the next thing would be to define a pickup ring around the player for that we have one little variable let's call it collect radius and that thing we can actually draw around the player for that we can just use draw circle with this new variable which is uh well the cur the the thing here and then we just say like hey draw event of course now we are kind of deleting our own draw so we just say draw self so we are not invisible that would just nullify the draw event which is here and then we just say hey draw a circle and then with our new collect radius so we can check out and see how that looks like for now this is basically doing nothing so we're just dropping coins and then we are dra drawing this nice little radius kind of useless so we need to uh, create a system which is then collecting those so for that we can actually create a, our newest alarm so alarm which is free so two which we haven't and then this is for collecting boom and then what we do is um, copy paste that in here and just call it alarm two 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 so we can loop that thing for collecting also boom for now it's doing nothing and now we need to define a ring around the thing which we already have so i can just copy paste that thing so we will use uh collision uh, collision and then rectangle ellipse circle list then of course if you press f1 but I already did this so you can see the whole uh, co uh, code basically it's the same i just changed a few things so first of all the positions to to where uh, our collision ring should be so for example it should be around the player's position with the specific radius which we defined before and then what we want to attract is our coin of course it's better to have a, let's say a parent of collectibles but we just collecting coins so this is good enough for us and then we said to every coin hey now let's fly so this is what we are doing and then of course we are looping it so let's check this out and boom let's see so here we got a coin on the right side and once we are entering these things are flying in there of course sometimes they're not flying instantly because that thing is well just being triggered every 20 steps so once again this explains the delay and as you can see this is working fine but oh what's happening here well <laughs> the coins are not being deleted so this is the last point which we do so we just go into our object player and well collect them so we just say collision and then with our object coin and then what we do well we just destroy the other thing so instance destroy here and then of course not ourselves but the other id so the coin which is flying towards us and this is pretty much how that works Alrighty, hopefully you enjoyed this and see you in the next one have a good one one up indie